Someone please let me know if you've seen anything like this on any other channel. So in the past I have taken some bare floor tools like say Kirby for example and I've put them on my airflow box but I've sealed them completely up. So I want to do something completely different. I want to start taking machines that have bare floor attachments and measuring their airflow as the user would normally use them or at least as close as I can get. So if you notice there's my airflow box there and you see that I have a small area actually taped off right there. So that area corresponds exactly to this area, this inlet right down here. That's very important. So if you want to try to duplicate this, whatever your inlet area is where your detection vane is going to be, measure that area, get the diameter, cut it in half, that's the radius, square it, and then multiply by 3.141, for example, and then your rectangular area, make it the same. Don't make this actually smaller than this because you'll end up restricting the airflow. So uh, just a little note about how I'm actually setting this up. So what I want to try to do is I want to use the bare floor tools as they were intended and I want to see if I can figure out how much usable airflow there is both from the center area you know where the wands come in and also from the sides. Now I all since these things are symmetrical all I really need to do is just measure one side of the other side. So what I'm gonna do is I will go and start my anemometer and then I'll take say this rainbow floor brush for example and I'll run it over this opening I'll kind of keep it constant right there maybe I'll wiggle it around a little bit to try to get the best measurement possible and we will see from the center location in general what kind of flow we get then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and then come across just an edge and either edge it doesn't make any difference because this is symmetrical. Then I'm going to go over like this, maybe wiggle it around just for a few seconds, see what kind of airflow we get from right in this area. And I wonder if we're going to find that there's a significant difference. I, I imagine there will be. Simply because you have obviously the source of your flow coming right from the center and then it you know fans out to the edges and obviously as you get farther and farther away from the source the the strength of your flow it gets weaker and weaker and weaker as you go out the sides so every um, every floor tool will certainly be different in many ways I think the um, Electrolux tool here and the rainbow is kind of similar but there is a there certainly is a difference in bristle pattern this one right here right this this new uh, bristle pattern right here I went and uh, replaced this a while back this is completely solid for the rear of the tool then of course in the front you have obviously these cutouts so with the rainbow tool the front and back they're they're not exactly the same they're close I can see that there's a, a split right here whereas this is solid here this is solid here this is solid here so it's almost symmetrical but it, not quite so this is what I want to try to do with this particular series of tests is take a bunch of different bare floor tools and run them over this much smaller opening to try to measure what the floor is actually feeling for airflow and that's going to take into account these not being uh, sealed at all and of course the normal distance that you have this up you know from the actual floor surface you know this isn't this isn't like crushed crushed down it's not directly against your flooring it's it is raised up by the length of the bristles first up the rainbow D4C SE fully referred.
Next up, the Electrolux Olympia 1. Fresh HEPA bag installed. Had to move the anemometer over a little bit, and you'll see why here in a second. was kind of surprising wasn't it and just to let you know all the prerequisite tubes were hooked up and I was using uh, the Ohio um, 1988 Heritage 2 legend and lastly for this round my Kirby G4 with its bare floor tool because this is the oldest G-Series tool that I have. I don't have one for my G3 just yet. And I am using two tubes and obviously the hose.
So I had to figure out a way to kind of point to things in this video, so I made a pointer. Let's see, starting out with the Rainbow D4C SE. So this floor nozzle did 14.3 CFM on either edge and did 34 in the middle. The Electrolux 1401B did 11.9 on either edge and 39.6 in the middle. The Kirby Heritage 2 Legend did 23.7, almost 24 CFM on either edge and a whopping, a class leading at this, at least for this forpal that was compared 48.3 CFM in the center. And last but definitely not least, the G4. So 34.9 on either edge. And that one actually wins the edge CFM. And the center, still no slouch, 39.7, almost 40 CFM right in the center. The highest edge airflow winner is the Kirby G4. The highest center airflow winner is the Kirby Heritage 2 Legend. Still surprised with that. The most even, that is consistent, airflow is the G4. If you take the edge airflow and divide it by the center airflow, you get 88%. What that means is, as you're using this bare floor tool, you will have a very consistent cleaning performance across its entire width. The most uneven or inconsistent airflow is the Electrolux Olympia 1 with only a 30% score. Again, if you take the edge airflow divided by the center airflow, you have the most inconsistent performance across the entire width. So this was a very revealing uh, test to start out with. I have a bunch more uh, floor tools to actually test. Obviously I started out with the older or oldest ones first and let's move up to some newer ones for part two of this series. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.